Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Google Pixel 3 or a 3XL and you basically have the black screen of death or maybe you're in a stuck in a boot loop or maybe it's just frozen somewhere on the screen or it is unresponsive. I'm going to give you a bunch of solutions to get your phone back up and running and 70% of you guys will have your phone back up and running after this video. Now the first thing is for those of you that have a black screen of death, your phone doesn't show no anything on the screen, you know that it's on, you hear it vibrate or maybe you hear it ring or maybe you see some LED lights flash. First thing you want to do is take off a case. Okay, so if you have a case, take it off. Also, if you have a screen protector on there, go ahead and pry that off. Now if you don't want to go ahead and take your screen protector off, go ahead and try every step in this video. And by the end of the video, if it's still not working, then go ahead and then take off your screen protector and try all the steps again. Now let's just pretend that I have a black screen on here. You don't see no time in here, no nothing, okay? Go ahead and grab yourself a paper towel. Go ahead and dab a little bit of water on it. And you basically want to clean up here around the sensors, okay? You can dab it some water or you can just... And make sure the sensors are all clean up here. Now what I want you to do is a force restart, okay? Press and hold the power button. Do not let go until we see the Google logo appear. Okay, so follow along with me. Here's the power button here. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Do not let go. Let's pretend that this screen is totally black. I don't see nothing on the screen right now. It's totally black. I don't know what's going on. I'm still holding on to the power button. I'm not going to let go until I see that Google, uh, the Google logo appear. I'm still holding on to the power button. Okay, now I can go ahead and let go. And hopefully your phone is out of the black screen or a boot loop or it's no longer going to be frozen or unresponsive. Now, if you had a black screen and it's still showing a black screen, it's a possibility that your power button may be stuck on here. So this is what I want you to do next. Okay, with the power button here, I want you to press in and out as fast as you can. In and out, in and out. Also the volume rockers too. Okay. Volume up, volume down, both. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Go back to the power button. Also put the phone down like this and press in and out the power button as fast as you can. Now do the same thing again, okay? Press and hold the power button. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Do not let go of that power button until we see that Google logo. Again, let's pretend this phone is black. I don't see nothing on the screen. I don't know what's going on. I just know that I'm still holding on to the power button. Still holding on to the power button, waiting for a Google logo to appear. Now I'm gonna let go and hopefully you guys are out of a black screen and your phone is up and running. Now, if you still have the black screen of death, what I want you to do is grab that same paper towel again and this is what I want you to do. Place the paper towel on the top of your phone like this and, I and what I want you to do is press firmly all on the top of your screen like this, okay? All over, even on the top near the sensors and just keep pressing in like this it's a possibility that you may have something that's disconnected inside your phone. Hopefully it's not an actual screen issue or a motherboard issue. So press all over and now go ahead and turn to the back of the phone and do the same thing. Press firmly all over the phone. Okay, you can see how I'm doing that. All over around the lens area on the top corners here. Your fingerprint scanner, press that in, then let go and do the same thing with the power button. Press and hold, one, two, three, press and hold. Keep on holding, do not let go of that power button until we see that Google logo appear. And hopefully after this step here, your phone should be up and running. If not, we're gonna to move to the next step. I'm still holding onto the power button, I'm gonna go ahead and let go now. Now, if your phone still has a black screen, next thing I want you to do is go ahead and grab your charging cable. Go ahead and start charging your phone. Plug the USB part into a computer or a wall socket or whatnot. Plug the other end into your Google Pixel 3 here. Let it charge for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you want to go ahead and do every step from the beginning of the video again, okay? First thing is remember, press and hold the power button. Wait for the Google logo to appear, then let go. If your phone still has a black screen, go ahead and press the power button and the volume buttons in and out super quickly. In and out, volume up and down, all while your phone is still charging. And then press and hold the power button. 
hold it down till you see the Google logo appear again. If it's still not working, while your phone is charging, I want you to do the same thing. Go ahead and grab the paper towel again and start pressing all over on the top of your screen. Okay, all over, turn it over again. Your phone is still charging. Do the same thing to the back area too. All over, turn it over, then press and hold the power button until you see that Google logo appear again, again, while your phone is still charging. Now, if you still have a black screen of death on your Google Pixel 3 or 3 XL, the next thing that you can do, and yes, this has worked before, is go ahead and grab your phone, put it in a Ziploc bag, put your phone into the freezer, wait one hour. After one hour, take your phone out of the freezer, take it out of the Ziploc bag, and then do the same thing again. Press and hold that power button. Wait for the Google logo to appear. And if it's still not working, Go ahead and give the force restart a couple more tries. And if it's still not working, then your last option is to try and do a factory reset. The only thing is with a factory reset, you're going to lose all of your data on your phone. So hopefully you have a backup. I'll show you how to do a factory reset on your phone. Okay, so basically it's two buttons that you want to press down, press and hold down simultaneously at the same time. Okay, so it's the power button and volume down button. Okay, press and hold both buttons. Okay, one, two, three, press and hold. Do not let go, pretend my screen is black. You do not want to let go until we see the menu here pop up. Okay, just wait. Okay, now once you see this menu here, you can go ahead and let go. And then from here, we can use the volume rockers. We can go down and we're going to go to recovery mode, as you can see here. Okay, to select it, you press the power button. Press the power button once. Now it should go into the no command Okay, and then once this is here, what we want to do is press and hold the power button, and this time press the volume up once. Volume up, just like that. And now we are in the Android recovery menu, and if I use the volume down button here, if I go all the way down to where it says right here, it says white data slash factory reset. Again, guys, if you don't have a backup on your phone and you do this, I mean, you're going to lose everything on your phone, your photos, videos, it's basically going to make your phone as if you just bought the phone brand new and opened it up out of the box. So if you want to proceed with factory resetting your phone, give it, giving this a try, then you would go ahead and select the power button. Select the power button, then you get this message here and it says in red, wipe all user data. This cannot be undone, okay? So if you want to go ahead and proceed, you would do the volume down to yes, press the power button to proceed. And then it's going to go through the process of rebooting your phone, formatting, and then once your phone is booted back up, you're going to get that hello screen back in the beginning. Of course, my phone is working fine, so I'm just going to go back up to no here. I'm going to select the power button, and I'm just going to go ahead and reboot system now because this phone is obviously has like no issues. Anyways, I hope one of these methods helped you guys out. Guys, let me know which one, or sometimes it does take a combination of these methods to get your pixel back up and running. Well, I hope that helped you guys out for the 70% of the people. Guys, give me a like if it worked. If it didn't work, give me a uh, thumbs down. Again, this should be like a 70-30, 70% success rate. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.